patch up, holes patch up job. And um, yeah, this is a test. Test it out to see if it's going to work. Um, I'll just show you what's happened with the what's happened overnight with the actual chemicals. All right, guys, so I've done the test. I've turned the steering wheel, and I've got bad news. Very bad news. It leaked. It's leaking again. It leaked bad. All right. I'll just show you what I've done, what's happened with the chemical that I've actually used. Um, this is overnight now, it's over 12 hours and it's the next day actually. Around the same time as, yeah, around the same time as last, yesterday. Um, it's gone hard, but it's more like a, oh, let's see. It's kind of like a rubbery, a very hard rub, oh, what? This stuff is not dry. Ah, I messed my hand up. Let me get that off with the... Oh, damn. There was some uh, unmixed chemical there, or compound, I should say. It didn't have harden now on that side, so it didn't harden. Oh, okay. Got my hands clean a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna get everywhere now. So yeah, anyway, it's gone hard. It's as hard as it's gonna get. I, I, I think um, I was expecting it to be rock hard, but it's not rock hard. It's kind of got a little bit of a just a very hard plastic. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have added more hardener. I don't know if that would. So um, at least it's hard. At least it's hard, so I don't know. I really don't know if it's gonna be strong enough to with, withstand the pressure or the high pressure holes, which is just down there. That's a patch I've made there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There it is right there. So that should be hard now. That pipe is all caked up, which is just the one right there. Looking shiny. Let me see if I can get a better zoom on that. So yeah, that's a metal hard, hard metal. It's a metal high pressure hose. I hope it worked. So yeah, I hope it worked. That's a product there. Ooh, I'm scared. Um, guys, I'm really, really scared right now. Not because or what could happen as in you know danger wise it's more about I need this car to work I need this car to literally work and earn some some money so this is not a joke this needs to be fixed so I can get it back on the road so I can get some extra money in my pocket and there it goes and it's really empty in there Oh, it's better to have a more reliable car than this if you want to use it for work. I've got some pasturing fluid here, which I'm going to use. Pasturing fluid. I'm just going to use this stuff because I need to make sure it works. I don't know if it's going to be enough. And I don't even know if it's going to work. But here we go. If it holds pressure, if, you could, if I could get at least a month or two out of this, I would be so happy. Oh, oh, oh. I put a lot in there. I don't know if that's too much now. Damn, I hope it, it should go down. Once I start the engine, it should go down. Once it feeds, it uh, pumps through the system, it's actually to circulate through because the pipes will be a little bit empty. So I'm gonna pause this now and actually no, I won't pause it, I'll just keep it running. Okay. Okay, 
here goggling through now. There won't be much pressure. Pastoring pumps, they pressurize when you turn the steering wheel. So at the moment it's running on just low pressure. Let me check to see if it's, if it's going down. Yeah, it's gone down a bit. It's gone down some. So I should be fine. What I'll do now is I'll... Um, oh, oh. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be in big trouble. That means that it will mean that I've got more work to do. And right now, I really do not want to have... I don't really want to have any extra work to do right now. Oh, look at that. The water level is low on the coolant. So I gotta put some water in this thing as well. I got my degreaser here, which I will be using to make sure to degrease the whole thing when I'm done. And then I'll fill up all the water levels as well, top them all up, which is that one there. It is a little bit low. I know. Now, look underneath. Those are the drips from yesterday. Those are drips from yesterday, so. Whew. This is so nerve wracking, guys. I've done the best touch up I could think of so far. I'm thinking maybe I could have added maybe a clamp and a hose the holes and a clamp over the top of that but it's very hard to get in there oh, all right we've got somebody cutting the grass now so it's getting a bit noisy but anyway guys i thought i'd just show you where i'm up to i've decided to take off the air box because that hose goes from there from the pump underneath and it, it comes up this way underneath and then it zigzags like that and then it comes back this way and goes around the gearbox and up a little bit and then it goes down to the back to the uh, power steering rack and I think the only way to get there is to take out all these things the air box the lower section and upper section I mean the upper section and then the lower section the dirt out of there so here's my bit of a collection there um, and there it is that's my um, high pressure line on the other side I think it's this one I'm trying I'm trying to trace it and it looks like I think it's this, it might be this one going right up there to the back of the top of the um, steering rack I just hope it's not the other one because if it's a, if it's the one at the bottom there that would be a disaster of a job because I gotta get to the other side and that's gonna be really really uh, probably too hard for me right now so I'm gonna do my base my best to trace to make sure I've got the right one as I'm shaking it, it looks to me like I've got the right one here. Seems to be shaking on the other side over, over this side, so I think I'm on the right track. I might have the easier job or the easier holes. Oh, so pretty much looks like I'm gonna have to undo that nut there and then undo all the other nuts that are connected to the other side and weave it back out somehow. Um, I'll do my best to, to film this because I don't know if I'm gonna <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna capture everything but because right now I'm a little bit just bummed out about this job I really don't like this when you it's not fun it's not for YouTube fun I'm not making this up stuff up this is just life uh, stuff happens in life with cars and um, yeah, sometimes you're just stuck and you have to do it. 
you have to give it your best and just try doing that yourself okay all right there's been some progress here I've finally detached the holes that was attached to that rack there and I've actually managed to pull it under and through I actually I had to take this wheel off to get that out to get behind there to get the um, the the holes out and there it is right there hanging down so this wheel is loose just keeping it there because I'm on the side of the road I'm doing this right on the side of the road literally guys so no excuse no excuse land is free out there land is free and there it is hanging down and it's actually a very big pipe it's a quite a long pipe and it's quite a young it's like a snake it snakes around it loops around a bit and that's quite annoying because well, I've got to switch off some gloves because it's very oily I probably should get another pair uh, I'll just stand back here and just show you what it looks like from a distance it's not the most comfortable uh, way to work but you know it works when you're desperate uh, when you're desperate you do anything really and I need this car I need this car back on the road and uh, I've got all my tools up on the top there the key obviously is to try to keep it neat you don't want to upset your neighbors or anything and don't take too long make sure you work when everybody's not looking and maybe when they're at work or something when people are driven all you know they're not home as much as possible there it is right there it snakes around and it's very hard to take out and I'm struggling a little bit but I've almost got it out now and here it is underneath uh, and there's a bit that I uh, I mended which didn't work I'd like to see why it didn't work Ugh. Now I've got a job of taking that off. I'm gonna have to take that off. That's annoying. Now removing this. This is the problem. Is like you're you're kind of winding it through, and here I have it. Guys, I've won. Next stage, trying to mend this little sucker, and. Um, Make sure I don't lose any of these bolts. I'm just gonna leave that in up in there so I don't lose that. So there it is. Quite a, um, a long piece. It's annoying. And okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this and probably just degrease it. Get it all degreased. Um, and then take it to someone to see if I can get someone to weld it it's got a lot of oil everywhere so much grease everywhere you start to worry that you may have more than one leak but I think this is all this is a different kind of oil leak here so I shouldn't be too worried about it <sighs> right, I'm going to take this into the, into the shed and see if I can grind that back and get that that um, cement that I've put there. Take that off. Oh, well, now I've ground and cleaned. I've cleaned the um, all that mess that I made before. That's all cleaned off. Look at that. Not bad. All the glue, cement, whatever it was, came the JB weld. I've taken all that off and it's pretty much ready. Oh, I think I missed a, a bit here. I missed a skip. I skipped the part. All right, I'm gonna go and do a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take this to someone who can weld it, hopefully. Hopefully they won't refuse me because this is a bit of a weird job. And this looks like a very expensive piece from Audi. I'm sick and tired of asking Audi for the costs because everything that they tell me it's about close to a thousand dollars I'm sure this bit here alone we're gonna cost me at least a thousand dollars itself 
if it's anything above $700 is quite a normal cost uh, through Audi and um, we don't have many Audi S3s around here in Melbourne Australia so it's very hard to find spare parts second-hand parts for these things if I fail to get it fixed and I'm probably gonna have to get someone to mend it either in some way or fashion or remake the section but um, that, I reckon that's gonna be too expensive such a big box a huge air box for such a small engine yeah. oh well <sighs> maybe it's time to get a new box something different something more sporty i think it's starting to get tired of this thing it's getting boring so where am i up to with this little car this is day four now day four the car still parked here um there's a door yeah, so day four, the car still parked here. Um, I'm looking for someone to mend the actual poles. So, drove around uh, on Friday. Couldn't find any um, sure place. Uh, the, the holes specialist didn't want to help me. I think they just want to sell me something different. Um, I'm going to open this car as well. I think they want to sell me something different or they were just too busy to be bothered so I'm gonna continue looking and asking around to see if I can find somebody to to help me with the holes um, I went to a radio I stopped over at a radiator oh, uh, a radiator specialist where they repair rate uh, blown head radiators and they were more helpful than the actual holes people which is funny. Here's the holes right here. I've given it a good clean. Polished up the the actual um, what do I call that thing? The holes joint. I've polished up this uh, pipe so they can get a clearer, cleaner surface to actually work with. Because back here it's got this really thick, thick paint, and um, I just buffed that back. Now, I'm even worried. I'm not sure if it's even leaking in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure from my from what I saw, it was leaking from somewhere in this connection joint, in this uh, bend here, somewhere. But I can't be 100% sure now. I'm a bit skeptic of my own diagnos diagnosis. I need to confirm this by putting, it, putting these holes under pressure. And um, I'm sure if I could, if the holes specialist would, you know, test it for me, they would tell me where it's uh, actually leaking before I go patching it up. But the radiator people, the radiator specialists that make radiators and fix radiators, I don't know if they have any um, fittings that can actually put this thing under pressure to test whether it's fixed after they do their job. And what he's actually thinking of doing, he just told me real brief that he can solder a uh, sodium, what do you call it? Sodium weld it? It's pretty much soldering, I think, uh, or I think brazing or soldering, something like that. And I don't know how he's going to do it, but he's going to do that to this joint here and possibly in this connection, um, in this fitting right in there. Now you're probably wondering why do I have vegetables in here? Oh, I've just been too lazy to take them out. I went um, I got some fresh vegetables from a local place that actually um, yeah gives them out and they're really really good too. I've had some of them and uh, these are the ones that don't need to be refrigerated so they've been in here for a couple of days now uh, probably should take them out now I took out the fresh stuff um, back to the job here honestly if I was to buy if I can't fix this and I have to buy a new one 
it's gonna cost me so much money it's gonna cost me so much money that I don't know if I could afford it right now because things are really tight guys uh, COVID is hit obviously and um, it's affecting a lot of people and my work is really really down majorly down so I'm just gonna leave that in there and oh, continue searching for a solution to this problem all right guys I've got some good news this is the fifth day now I've been working on the little uh, Audi finally it's running and um, it wasn't easy to fix the holes uh, they were able to, luckily I was able to take it to a specialist who was able to brace um, the section that was actually blown we don't know exactly how long it's gonna last it was a, it's just a temporary well hopefully it's a permanent fix but it's not guaranteed to last forever so for now so good so far so good I've just given the the floor that you know that's the road a bit of a wash there and give the engine a bit of a wash as well but it's running again guys it's running and um, I'm gonna look forward to driving it again the boot has got my gear for my work and I really needed, needed this car to be running because yes I needed to use it for work got my window cleaning stuff in here uh, running your own little business it's not um, it's got some perks and it's got some down stuff as well there's a downside to it the downside is you gotta look for your own work and the upside is that you don't have to go to work and uh, answer to a boss to tell you why you can't make it to work you get paid what you as much as you work really so here we go guys, I thought I would just update you on how I've gone with the little fix but what I forgot to do was I forgot to show you the actual fixed job. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me see. There it is down there anyway. You can see that um, different color there right there so let's see how long it lasts guys if it lasts one year I'll be very happy in that time I hope I could have saved up enough money to buy a whole new a whole new um, hose from Audi but I know they're gonna cost a lot of money so I'm really scared about that I've checked my oil level it seems to be okay I'm gonna take it for a drive pack up all my tools yeah, and see if, um, see how it drives make sure the hoses are not leaking when I come back okay here we go it's running I can hear a little bit of a gurgling noise like fluid is still going through the, the system I could hear it like a, it's like a squeaky noise that wasn't there before until I did this um, hose so I'm assuming it's it still needs to be bled there must be air in the system or there's not enough fluid so I'll drive it and see if it's gonna stop making that noise um, yeah it's not, a, it's not a good time to be breaking down guys honestly with all this going on around the world all these issues with them um, it's really affecting our finances and not good guys not good Oh, all right, I'm happy to fix for now. Hope that it will last. Uh, anyway, guys, see you later. I'll keep you posted.